How's it going guys? It's going off great and this is a what not to do video. What I did was I moved uh, my solar panels and added three more to the front of the house here. I moved them from over there. And what did I do? Well, those three panels, one, two, three, these are the old ones. They're hooked up a specific way apparently. Apparently solar panels do not have a standard on which way they freaking hook up their MC4 connectors. These ones were hooked up the same way all of my other solar panels were. Well, these three new panels, one, two, three, they have the same MC4 connectors, but they're hooked up backwards. The positive was the negative on every single one of these. I did not catch that. I did not check it. It was 100% my fault. Well, I would not 100% because why would you why would you hook it up backwards? It even says on the connector positive and negative, and it was wrong on all three of these. So, what did I do? I fried all the all the diodes in uh, my solar panels because I had a bunch of these solar panels in series. So what did they do? They just completely uh, shorted out. And this one, it was not in the box here. I looked in there. Nope. It was right in this unremovable plastic. So what I ended up doing was drilling out the diodes with a drill. Here's my drill. I had to be careful not to go through the panel. Very careful. I got all three diodes drilled out. I believe there's only three in there. And uh, I did that in the other one as well. The middle one it was okay. The diodes didn't fry. Thank goodness. But, uh, yeah, this is a big boo-boo. Yeah. A lot of work. Now this panel does not have diodes. So, uh, yeah. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I'm going to fill all this with silicone just so I can use it for a bit. I don't know. I might repurpose this panel and put a different one up here. Uh... I don't really want this bodged panel on my roof. Ouch. Anyways, just a quick video on uh, what not to do. I am going to get these working. Got the car charging off the work trailer again. Got the work trailer home. And everything else is working right. Oh yeah, we moved uh, these panels closer to the front because even now, as you can see, it's getting shade from that shed. Before it was much earlier, at least now it's still making quite a bit of power till almost the end of the day. There's the sun as it goes down. These panels are in perfect position for that. We got some polys, we got some mono. But uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be careful when you're hooking up your panels. Got the panels going again. I just noticed this panel is different. It's very interesting. I bought all these together and I didn't even notice when I bought them that this one's uh, quite a bit different. It's got four uh, lines for picking up power. This has got three. So obviously this is a better panel or newer. Repaired that panel. Repaired this panel. Just got to seal them up on the underside with silicone now and then uh, we should be okay. I already tested it. I went, when I hooked these up, I went from 500 watts to 950. So I got an extra 450 watts from hooking this up. So that's awesome. Still works. Sun is going down. The only panels making power are these ones here. And the ones on my trailer, they're barely making anything. They're charging the car. These are not making power because these are a string of four. And that right there dicks me. Right there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Great, got the solar panels up. Doesn't look that great. I'm gonna put a piece of plywood in there to hide all that and then also strengthen it a little bit. And it'd be nice if I could move those even further forward, but I can't. We are in shade from that shed. It's only six o'clock and we are in shade on my west facing panels there. These panels are not in shade and I am considering putting another row behind them for west facing. I can get these pretty stinking cheap. And I did fix the two panels, thank goodness. And 
These panels are in complete shade, making almost zero power. These panels are only a quarter in shade and still making almost zero power. Like by almost zero, I mean like less than 50 watts. Less than 50 watts. These ones are making like 400 to 600, depending on the haze. As you can see, it's, it's, a, it's quite hazy over there now. Those panels over there are making like maybe 10 watts or less. They're making nothing. So, and then I have panels leaned up there, and I have panels flat over there, almost flat, also making nothing. So pretty much that's the only evening sun power makers I have, and same with those. And if it wasn't for that corner, I, I should put these on their own charge controller and then put it in strings of two, because then at least these two would still be making power. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. With just these alone, I have been making power for a few hours extra, so that is awesome. Just plugged the car in, so we got 3,500 watts going towards the car. We're charging. She should be completely charged in like, I don't know, I had 40 kilometers, so it's a little less than half. So maybe, I don't know, two hours, two and a half hours. I completely drained the trailer charging the the car so anyways see you guys later